Andy! Get a move on! I'm not waiting for him. OK, you get off. I'll chase him up. And good luck with your exam. Andy! Is there something the matter with him? He's probably a bit tired. Why? Well, he's got a lot to think about. Do you mean about Katie? Hey, no more questions, all right. Andy! Come on, you don't want to be late for your exam. I ain't done any revision. Well, just do the best you can. I didn't get any sleep last night. I was thinking about what we said. And? I'd best be off. I don't know why you've got back with Kane after all the police calls, Jim. I'm not back with him. You were in Woolly with him yesterday. So? He's a user. Look, if you must know, Kane's been really kind. Mm. Give me some money to help pay off charity. And what does he want in return? No. What? My morning meeting's been cancelled, so if there's anything you want to do, just say the word. Ashley's beaten you to it. Oh? We're going into Hotton to look at a couple of places that offer complimentary treatments. Right. Fine. In fact, I'd better get a move on. Well, don't you want any breakfast? Um, no, thank you. I'll grab something in town. I'll see you later. Bye. Don't say a word, all right? How come you're not just yet? I'm not coming in today. Why not? Because I've been sick. Twice. Oh, well, what's up? Well, it's morning sickness. It's the baby. Well, I didn't know what was happening at first, but it's brilliant. I mean, being sick's not brilliant, it's horrible, but it's our baby that's causing it. Isn't it amazing? Yeah. Don't sound too enthusiastic, will you? Uh, sorry, it's with me not getting the job yesterday. Sorry. Time you were dressed, young lady, and you should be at school. Yeah, I'm just off now. And you'll be back at school tomorrow if I've got anything to do with this. See ya. Young love, eh? Sleepless nights, insecurity, misery. Good thing we're past all that. Definitely. Mind, I didn't sleep much last night. Why not? Oysters. We got food poisoning. No, dreaming about them. Not that I'm dropping hints. I'd be just as happy with a nice juicy steak and asparagus tips. Oh, Friday night. I'll eat anything. Yeah, well, I'm still looking at one or two options here. I don't mind where we go. It'll just be nice to get away from here and spend a bit of time together. It will. Fancy a cup of tea? Better not. I'm meeting Sydney, but um, I'll see you tonight. You know where to find me. If you must know, when we talked yesterday, she was very honest and open. Oh, yeah? What did she say? Get on with the bedrooms now, Cynthia. Right, OK. She agreed that what happened with Liam was the cause of a lot of her problems. And she wasn't just saying what you wanted to hear, was she? No, we talked a lot about her relationship with me, talked about Dad. I felt we were really getting somewhere. Like where, for instance? Look, if she understands who she is, She'll be able to deal with whatever's wrong with her. Oh, listen to you. You sound like an amateur shrink. It's not enough, Chris. Hiya. Hi. Two teas. Two bacon salads, please. Excuse me. Uh, I was hoping I'd bump into you today. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Are you doing anything tonight? Uh, tonight? I thought we could uh, open a bottle of wine and pretend to watch a video. I just remembered I'm, uh, I'm out with Mac tonight, aren't I? Don't mind me. He says that, but I'll never hear the end of it if I let him down. All right. Uh, tomorrow, then. And I won't take no for an answer. So terrible about her. She'd put a rabbit to shame, that one. Two teas. Could have taken. I thought that's how you liked him. She just getting a bit clingy, you know, taking things for granted. Well, then tell her. Should get the message if you keep getting knocked back. You can count me out your plans because uh, I'm seeing Diane tonight. You never said. I don't need your permission, do I? Well, I just thought I could rely on you. You shouldn't take me for granted, should you? Katie, I thought you might like to have a look at these. The Benices. Thanks, Diane. It'll help you understand what's happening to you. I'm really excited. You don't think that's stupid, do you? No, of course not. But what about Andy? He seemed a bit down this morning. Yeah, he is. Is he worried about the baby? Well, no, he's looking for a job, but he keeps getting turned down. He really wants to work in farming. I know, but he might just have to take what he can get. Yeah, I suppose. You couldn't give him a job, could you? Me? Just glass collecting or washing up or something. 
Oh, I don't know. Well, you know, Andy, you can trust him. He's hard working. I know what he's like. But how much do you think I could pay him? Well, not much. It certainly wouldn't be enough to pay for somewhere to live and to support you and a baby. Yeah, but it's a start. Just give me a bit of confidence. You can't get by on confidence, love. Have you any idea how much it costs to rent a house round here? We may not have to. Well, all right, say your dad has a change of heart or Jack takes you in. You're still going to have to buy food and clothes. When was the last time you did a week's shop? Well, did you not struggle when you were young? Aye, and I wouldn't wish it on anybody. Well, we're going to make it work whatever anyone says. I just thought I'd ask. It's not a good idea, Pet. Won't you at least think about it? Yes? Mrs Eggleton? No. Oh, I heard she was staying here. Who wants to know? Uh, my name's Jeff Graham. From the Hot and Courier. Oh, well, in that case, you've had a wasted journey, Mr Graham. Good day. Edna! This is for me. Mrs Eggleton. <laughs> Just call me Betty, love. You know, you become a bit of a celebrity, don't you, Betty? <laughs> well, I do seem to have... Uh... Caused a bit of a ripple. <laughs> a bit more than a ripple, I'll say. That's why I'd like to interview you. Oh, well, I refuse to be involved in some cheap, sensationalised nonsense in the local rag. Take no notice of her, love. Come through, would you? I'll just drop my bag off at home, then we'll go to the field, yeah? You coming, Andy? I'm going to go see Katie. She can wait, can't she? You better make the most of it. Give it a rest, will you? Oh, come on, Rob. Hey. <laughs> oh. Right. I think we've been here long enough. Well, why'd you say that? She's everywhere I go. Well, it's a small village. Exactly. It's time for pastures new. We're in the middle of a job, Squidly. Yeah, but as soon as it's over, we're out of here, right? Yeah, well, I promised the Reynolds some work. No one take too long. <sighs> think how much work we've picked up since we've been here, eh? I mean, there could be more. We'd have to leave. We always get work wherever we go. It's summertime! I'd rather be in somewhere like this than stuck in the middle of a city somewhere. Eh? It makes no odds to me. And it never used to bother you either. You're just looking for excuses. Yeah. It was Seth that started it. Your husband? My partner. You're not married? I'm warning you, Betty. You know what the gutter press can make of that sort of information? I have a duty to the truth, Edna. Anyway, I'm not living with him anymore, so it makes no odds. So, your relationship was destroyed by your exposure on the web? I have been betrayed, Jeff, love. Hurt beyond human endurance. Don't exaggerate. You say, in the first place, the webcam was left on by accident? <sighs> yes, and while it was on, he saw me from young greasy spoon going through his pockets. Why were you going through his pockets? For his own good. He's a gambler, you see, Jeff, love, and he denies it. She was seeing if he'd spent the housekeeping. So, what happened then? He left the camera on without telling me. He was trying to humiliate me. He... God. If it's any consolation, his plan's backfired. He's made you into a star. Well, I take no pleasure in that, Jeff, love. I've lost weight with the worry of it, me. If you have a word to Diane as well, she might give you something. Collecting glasses. Oh, was she not? Wow. You asked Mrs Hope for a job yesterday. Yeah, a few hours a week on rubbish money. How can I support you and a baby on that? We'll manage. Get real, Katie. I thought you'd be pleased. I don't know why I bothered now. Yeah, you could have asked me about it first. Oh, like you've been fighting off job offers? I may as well give up. So what are you going to do, to sit around sulking? I'm sick of it. The old flaming lot. It's all rubbish. There's nothing going right. Nothing. I'm having a baby. That's what's going right. Only you don't care what's happening to me, do you? You're totally selfish, Andy. I'm sick of it. <sighs> This is the scene of the crime. And 
yonder shifty-looking article is the criminal. You're Seth Armstrong? Yeah. Jeff Graham, hot and courier. We're doing a story on Betty's newfound fame. Are you? I'd like to ask you a few questions, if I may. Oh, don't bother with him, love. You can't believe a word he says. You're going to order anything? Because if you're just going to gossip, you can go outside and stand on the street corner. Oh, yes, sorry. I'd just like a cup of tea, please. You do right not to order any food in here, love. It's not up to much. I'll have you know, we have a very wide variety of high-class snacks, pastries and miscellaneous sundries. Bacon butties, sausage rolls and cream buns. It's hardly out cuisine. You write one criticism. Oh, shut your face, woman, and serve us the tea. He can't be bothered to write about this crummy place. Tell me, Seth, had you any idea when you first put Betty on the web you'd create such a stir? Addy Eckers, like. He was just thinking of himself, as per usual. They're desperate to earn some money. She wants me to give Andy a job collecting glasses. What did you say to her? I said they couldn't afford to support a baby on what I could pay. Have you spoken to Andy about it? No. Why? Well, I had another chat with him yesterday about the responsibility of having a baby. And did he take any notice of you? Well, he's beginning to realise how hard it is just leaving school and getting a job, never mind anything else. Katie seems to think they can cope. She's as determined as ever. I told him if they want an abortion, time's running out. She really wants the baby. I don't believe it. He was the one who said they were going to go ahead come what may. Now he's changing his flaming mind. Well, is that what you want? She's got no intention of having an abortion. So, is he going to talk to her? Yeah, I think he might. You sure he wasn't just keeping his mouth shut till he'd finished going on at him? I know my own son. I don't care what he does. I'm going to talk to her. If he's wavering, she's got a right to know. Let him do it. It'll be better coming from him. I don't trust him. Jack's right. If you go steaming in, he'll do more harm than good. Hey, you. You're know, Betty's loving every minute of this, isn't she? I knew she would as soon as she knew it was a court figure. Not that she'll admit it. You can tell Betty I meant what I said. If I see anything in print criticising this establishment, I will sue. She'll not listen to me. You'd better tell her you said. Right, I will. Can you imagine what she like when she's been in the paper? <laughs> Nearly the last of it. She's always enjoyed limelight. That's because of her show business background, I know. Well, she should be thanking you, not blaming you. I reckon she might need a bit of encouragement. I'll not be a minute. Well, where are you going? I'm surprised it's always gone out at all today. Well, Ashley's taken her off in such a some miracle cure. Mm, such as? Probably paying a fortune for a sauna and a massage. Oh, I wouldn't mind a bit of that myself. Oh, there's not wrong with you and all, is there? You don't seem right impressed. Well, she should never have left the clinic. <laughs> you can't chain her down, you know. You sound just like Chris. Well, he's only trying to do what's best for her. Well, it don't mean he's right. Yeah, but, you know, he probably doesn't know what's hit him. I mean, all that money and then this happens. Oh, so you have to be poor to get sick, is that what you're saying? No, but it helps. She'll pull through, you know. Well, I wish I could believe that, I really do. She's not daft. She'll realise what's best for her sooner or later. You want my autograph? Are you sure? Yes, please. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, where did you see me then on the internet? Yeah. Oh. What did I tell you? <laughs> what can I say? <laughs> did you put him up to that? I did. Oh. This whole part of my master plan. Oh, it can't be any worse than mine yesterday, I suppose. <laughs> She'll be moving back in in no time. <laughs> what are you grinning at, you silly old fool? Happen it won't be today, though. There you go. Cheers. Cheers. You don't fool me, you know. She's the reason why you don't want to leave, isn't she? I never said I don't want to leave. I just don't want to leave halfway through a job, that's all. You've always been my hero. You taught me everything I know. Keep on the move, you said. Don't get involved. Look, me and Diana are just good mates, you know. We'll just make each other laugh. Of course, if you can't keep up with the pace anymore. You know the last time you tried to drink me under the table? Now, who couldn't keep up with the pace then, eh? I'm not talking about drinking. Yeah, but I am. So shut up and get that down your neck. Here we go. Oh, thanks, Pat. You're welcome. Ah, cheers. Did you have a good day? Mm, excellent. Wouldn't you say, Ashley? It was different. And what's that smell? 
Lavender. <laughs> Lavender? So I don't mean to be rude, but I thought that was for the more mature lady. It's me you can smell. <laughs> <laughs> Is there something I should know? I have experienced the delights of an aromatherapy massage. <laughs> you? But I thought the whole purpose of today was for Zoe. Oh, to well, get... I just went into this place to check some prices, and I thought that Ashley deserved a treat. I couldn't say no. Well, he loved every minute of it. I did, actually. So did you, by the looks of it. I did. It was fun. Right. I didn't mean to meet him up before. It's just, well, I thought I'd have found a job by now and it's getting me down. I know. I don't want to collect glasses. All right, but if I think of something else, don't start shouting at me. I won't. I mean, we need to help each other, Andy. I know. I do think about you and the baby, honest. All right, but I just wish you'd show it a bit more. Most of my mates at school, even our Robert, they're always going on about their exams and when they finish and the holidays. Does that bother you? I couldn't care less about my exams. It's, I never wanted to stay on anyway. It doesn't matter then, does it? And when they went on about the World Cup, I don't even know half the scores. Well, that makes two of us. I'm really looking forward to it. Well, I'm not stopping you watching football. I don't mind. It'll be better once you've left school. I mean, at least then you can think about what you really want to do. Yeah. As long as we love each other, that's all that matters. Come on. Another exciting day at the factory. What do you think? I think you need a smile putting back on your face. That's why I'm here. Oh, yeah? I know this little pub, the other side of Robles Field. It's got a garden, so if you want to bring Kirk... Then he's got Kirk. So what are we waiting for? <laughs> I can't afford it. Hey, I'm paying, right? I want to buy you a drink to celebrate. Yeah. You don't have to worry about charity no more, do you? I don't know. You don't. I promise. Okay, but we're only going for a drive because I don't want to be long. Same again? Yeah, why not? Paddy? Paddy? <laughs> Sorry, what? Another drink? Yeah, all right. Thank you. <laughs> you look worn out. Oh, I am a bit tired. Work? It's been really hectic, so we? You should get a look come in. Oh, I have. Actually, I have. But Rona in for next week. Oh. Well, that's all right, isn't it? I thought we would have mentioned it earlier, that's all. I've not had a chance, have I? And I, I didn't want to bother you about work, you know. So... Yes. No, you've done the right thing, absolutely. And it won't be for long. I'll be back before you know it. <sighs> Brilliant. I don't suppose you could look after Gabby this evening, Diane, only one of my parishioners is rather poorly and I'd like to call in and see her. I'm always happy to spend time with my granddaughter. We can take a bottle of wine through to the back room. Ooh, babysitting with Granny Spice. I thought you were slowing down. Shut up, will you? I think there's a decent film on telly and all. We can have a wild old time. Mm, don't let me stop you. Why would you? No reason. We've been chatting about old times, how things used to be. Ark of the OAP. He's changed since I first knew him as Mike. For better or worse? For richer or poorer. Very good. Hell of a commitment, all that stuff, isn't it? See you later. Actually, Diane, uh, you know, if you're tied up with Gabby, I think I might get into Watson tonight and have a few pints with Sydney. Oh, OK. You don't mind, do you? It's just that, you know, I mean, I've had a right hour day. I don't fancy sitting in front of the telly. Fine. You go ahead. See you tomorrow. <laughs> Diane gave me some baby books this morning. I've been looking through them. Now, this picture of what the fetus looks like right now, it's amazing. I'll show you when we get back. I'm not sure about this. But what? I do love you, and I do want a baby. So what are you saying? Just later on, when I've got a job and I've got somewhere to live. I don't believe this. I've been talking to my dad, and you know what we can do, so just think about it. Think about what, Andy? You know. No, I want you to say it. I want you to tell me what you want me to do. Tell me. Have an abortion. Uh, Katie! Katie! Not so bad, was it? No, quite enjoyed it. 
I'm going for that drink tomorrow, yeah? I'll see. Oi! Don't I get a kiss? I know you think I've let you down. Oh, really? Now, why would I think that, Andy? It wasn't easy me telling you. I was supposed to feel sorry for you. I love you and I don't want to lose you. I know it'll be hard having an abortion, but it's the best thing for you. All right, so you're thinking of me? Yeah. I could have kept it quiet, cos I knew that it'd upset you, but I had to tell you. You know, the thought of it makes me feel sick, Andy. Other people do it and they get over it. Oh, you're an expert on killing unborn children, are you? I don't say that. Well, that's what you're asking me to do. It'll tie you down in a couple of years when you want to go out and have a laugh. You won't be able to because you've got a kid to look after. I thought you were with me all the way. I am. I thought you wanted this baby as much as I did, but you're just thinking about yourself again. No, I'm not. But don't touch me, Andy. Come on, Katie. Just leave me alone. I don't want to see you again. Katie. Just get away from me. I thought today went very well, Edna. Really? And Jeff reckons we may be approached by one of the nationals. It must be the silly season. Well, Jeff reckons that there's always a market for these human interest stories. You know, innocent woman being exploited style of thing. That sounds familiar. I'll have to have a word with him. Oh, dear Betty, you are my hope and inspiration. Oh, bless him. Katie, what's the matter? I thought you loved me, but he doesn't. He wants to get rid of my baby. I hate him. Come here, love. <laughs> he said he wanted the baby as much as me. He said he'd help me. I believed him. I loved him, but he was lying to me. Sorry, love. If that's what he's like, it's better you find out now. don't know what I'm going to do. You've got to come back here and let me take care of you. All right? <laughs> 